Hello and welcome back. I'm Sarah Liz. I'm happy you're here today. I have today five super quick and easy cards using the Spellbinders 2023 card kit of the month. I did an unboxing video earlier that shows you all of the contents of the kit. Um, so we're just going to dive right into some cards. Here I am gluing down some pattern paper. It is four by five and a quarter, which will leave me just a little bit of a margin all the way around. And that pattern's pretty busy. So then on top of it, I have another piece that is three by four and a quarter. And I'm gonna use that to kind of mute that first pattern paper that I love so much um, and create a focal point area. And then the I love about Spellbinders card kits that they come with just tons and tons of die cut pieces. And so I'm just making a little scene here um, with my window and my plant and then there's a whole bunch of these puffy sentiment stickers. This one says home is where you plant it. I love having cards like this on hand that are a little more generic. So I, I keep them in my desk drawer at work. Um, so if something comes up and I have a colleague who needs a little encouragement or something like that, um, I'm prepared and ready to go. <laughs> I call them my emergency cards. So anyway, for this next one, this is a three by six piece of pattern paper and I am going to glue it at a wonky diagonal onto the solid colored cardstock, right? Um, the solid colored cardstock is four by five and a quarter to leave just a little bit of an edge. And then I will use my long bladed scissors to just carefully cut right along that edge. There's nothing heroic here, right? I didn't have to measure. I'm not sure that's centered. Um, I just wanted to create a sort of interesting pattern on my background so it wasn't just a solid piece of pattern paper or cardstock or something like that. There are tons of die cut pieces in this kit to make a little scene, some rugs and tables, tons of plants, chairs, windows. Um, and so here I'm just adding a cozy rug and a little chair. Um, and then there, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that looks like wall hangings or wall art. Um, and this one says, proud plant parent. Um, I have a couple of people at work in mind that this could work really, really well for. So uh, even if it's a birthday or a thank you or anything like that, it's just a cute little card and it was super quick and easy. Um, next, we're gonna use one of my very favorite layouts. Um, and the measurements are wrong that I wrote on the back of those pieces of pattern paper. So I popped them up um, on the screen below. We are going to cover the entire A2 card with that sort of wood grain. And then we are layering this piece of pattern paper on top of the pink one. These two are five and a half, right? So they're going to go the entire length of the card. And that's the, the piece of the measurement that's wrong. I think all three of them say five and a quarter instead of five and a half. And I'm gonna put that on there off centered. So it creates some interesting visual space. I'm gonna add this shiny sun in the corner. There's a whole bunch of like foiled pieces and some foiled pattern paper in here. I will link to the kit below. Um, and then I will also link to some of the other Spellbinders Kit of the Month clubs. If you haven't looked at them recently, like really recently, you should check it out. They've changed things up. There's new options in there. There's a stitching die of the month club now. There's really, really cool stuff. And if you want more than one, you can sort of bundle them together and get a heck of a bargain. Um, for the card kit of the month, if you've looked at it before, they worked really, really hard to bring the price point down on this. They're now $29.50. Um, and so I was worried that that would mean it wasn't as good, but there's still tons and tons of stuff in here. So um, check out the unboxing video if you want to see what all was included. On this card, I've glued down my pattern paper, and then this is a chipboard uh, like film strip, and I'm going to take out the pieces on the inside and I'm gonna add a few of my die cut pieces kind of into that frame and then glue it onto that cream cardstock. And I'll just use my scissors to trim around that and create a, a nice little sort of film strip to add to my card. I hate to tell you this, 
I lost some of the footage from this card. This is maybe the trickiest of the cards I made and it's about to cut out right here. Um, so this is the finished card and you can see how I kind of cut around it. And then the suitcase piece on the bottom of the boxes with the camera, I popped that up using my foam squares since the, the film strip has quite a bit of dimension. Um, and then for that banner on the right, um, that was originally a, a house and I just used my scissors to trim off the little chimney and then I flipped it upside down and I added one of the chipboard stickers that says good things. Um, and I just thought that was a cute, cozy little card. Um, and then this last one might be my favorite card. Um, this piece is three by one and a quarter, I think. And I just used whatever was left over from the other card that used that same pattern paper. And I wanted a, a black mat to go around it. So I used my cream colored cardstock and just a marker around the edges to make that a little bit darker. Um, and that'll create my mat. I'm covering the entire background with an A2 size panel of pink cardstock. And then this piece is four by five and a quarter. I'm not sure if you can tell there is a, a pattern on that one. It's just really subtle. So I am going to, in the corner, this sort of bottom corner, create a layer of um, papers and sentiments. And I, this is what I love about those puffy sentiment stickers is that we're going to build our own sentiment um, and really sort of make it our own. So I'm adding to the top right this sort of wall decor, and then I'll add my heart right on top of the, the sort of focal piece at the bottom. I needed something dark to stand out um, against the puffy stickers. So we're using all white puffy stickers when we begin to add those. Once we get that glued down here, we're going to take the good things take time and we're gonna put that at a little bit of a wonky angle and then you are enough and then you are loved. And I love that we get sort of a mix of fonts here um, and they all work together to build this really encouraging sentiment. Um, I have someone in mind for this card. Maybe that's why I, I love it so much. Um, and I thought I would add some of these really gorgeous gem stickers there are four different colors and each one comes in three sizes and there's some sort of like gold flakes on the top of these faceted gems. They are adhesive backed. So I could have just stuck them down. I think it was habit <laughs> that I kind of already put my drops of glue there. So here are the five cards that we made today. They were super quick and simple. Um, I have two more videos planned for you to show you what else you can make with this kit. Coming up next, I will show you how to make this card using the die add-on set for this month's kit. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I have so many fun and exciting things to share with you in the new year. Thank you for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I'll see you next time.